Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a side plank. This is very good for unilateral work, uh, so individual sides, and also improving your posture. So if your, your hips are slightly um, down or off, off, off alignment, this is a great way for you to build up strength in that area. So this, there's variations and the progressions and regressions to the uh, side plank. So I'm gonna take you through all of those. Now the key behind it is you're going to be focusing on understanding how you can keep the ear, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle all in a straight line. So sometimes that happens and people don't get it. So I give you a side on view. So as you can see, this position here is making sure that I'm fully straight. So if I go into the modified position, I'm still knee, hip, shoulder, ear. What sometimes people do is that they let their hips relax. So that means that their hip is not gonna be in line. So the key is to make sure that you're pushing your hip forward to allow that straightness. So to demonstrate on this exercise, I'm gonna take you through the progression of the side plank. So as you can see, I set up in that position to know that the habits to set up is uh, correct, nice and straight, and I bend the knee. Um, the other crucial part is understanding where does this elbow um, sit? Does it sit too far away? Is it too far underneath? I want it sitting right underneath my shoulder. From here, again, make sure your hips push forward. I'm going to then raise my hip off the floor. This hip off the floor. I'm trying to push my hip up to the ceiling, which then will start to activate all this uh, obliques and the glutes, um, the hip muscles inside um, at, all at once. So again, hips go forward, drive my hips up, and I try and keep that. Keep this nice and solid base where I'm pushing the elbow into the ground to keep that tension through this muscle here. So that's the simple progression there. And remember to change to, eat to the other side. You want to really try and focus on lasting for at least 30 seconds before you can progress. From here, the next progression is going to be fully. So again, keeping that same posture, hips, ankles, uh, knees, shoulders. Again, hips forward, driving through and lifting off. That will be the next progression. Again, try to achieve at least a minimum 30 seconds. I would say 60 on this one to say that you're really getting stronger. And then the third progression that you can do is using the hand as the base. And this is where it becomes a little bit more challenging to set up. However, making sure that the hand is stacked and it's controlled. So you'll probably most likely start with the arm, as you can see, outwards. You set the feet up after, and then you start to lean over underneath the, the shoulder, underneath the hand. Oh, sometimes it can be a little bit more uh, tricky to keep the balance, but this is the great thing. When you are doing this, you can actually use, stagger your feet to make it a little bit easier. So instead of putting your feet together, have your feet um, separated, which then, will give you a, a little bit more of an, a variation to make it a little bit more easier. From there, then you can look at stacking your feet together. I'll make sure I do this correctly this time. There you go. And then the other final progression can be to lift the leg. Again, a good way for you to build core stability You'll start to improve your shoulder health as well because you're trying to improve that stability in the shoulder. All round fantastic exercise to maybe add into your workout.